Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sandalone Squad? How you guys doing? So there's a few things I got to tell you guys today. A few things. So number one, um, Fenrir is very good. I passed all my bans and only banned Hercules because Hercules is the only god that beats Fenrir because Fenrir is the second best dual god in the game. Secondly, I didn't upload yesterday because my AC went out on Friday night and it didn't get fixed until yesterday afternoon. And... um. It was about 95 or about 33 or 35 Celsius um, outside on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday where when I didn't have AC. And if I turn my computer on, my stream room would be about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or somewhere around, you know, 40 something, like low 40 Celsius. So it's very, very hot. And I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want my computer to overheat and, and cause damage to it or anything yesterday, turning my computer on before it was fixed. And then when it did get fixed, uh, it was a little too late to record. So I had to just go straight into my stream. Speaking of stream, <clears throat> I will be going live, doing some duo Q conquest with J2B today, getting to masters probably. Uh, and by the time this video goes up, I will probably be live. So make sure you guys are looking out for that because it's going to be sick. And if you're wondering about the shirt, uh, I'm wearing it because one, I think it will make Shiv laugh whenever she gets home. She's working out right now. Um, but I think it'll make her laugh when she gets home. And two, I think it would make J2B laugh as well. If I'm like, hey, I'm ready for our duo queue session with an EU man wearing an American flag shirt. <laughs> it's just funny to me. I don't know why. It's just comedy. <clears throat> and uh, I feel like it will make everyone laugh around me. So I, I'm wearing it. Anyways. Um, yeah. So that's why I didn't record Monday. And that's also why I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, I'm only banning Hercules. Because like I said, I think, I think Hercules is the best dual god in the game. And I think that Fenrir is the second best because he gets 80 physical power from his two. 80. That's a lot, dude. That's like, that's like very many physical power. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's where I currently am at. I really hate that the minions are left at 9 HP when I use my rune 3. And my jump on them after. Okay. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But I'll take it, I guess. Alright. Cool. I am ahead. Alright, I'm level 5, he's level 4. Does he hit 5 off that wave? If so, I could still potentially die. No, he didn't. So I'm just gonna full commit to these. If he comes over here, he does have beads, but my ult is still gonna hurt him. Actually, you know what? I don't have enough mana to fight. I'm just gonna go back, grab Transcendence, heal up my mana a little bit, and then go over there. He's backing here, getting Griffin Wing. Um, Your middle tower I don't know if I can fight into Griffin Wing, to be honest. Griffin Wing is a much harder or much higher initial power spike than Transcendence. Seeing as I only have 41 power right now, I think you guys will agree with me. All right. Honestly, getting his beads there is acceptable to me. I walked right into that. But that does mean that he doesn't have it for this wave. So I can slowly heal up off this wave. I missed. 
Alright. I don't know, this feels kind of one-sided at the moment. I feel like he can't really hurt me. And I also feel like he kind of knows he can't really hurt me. So we're just going to get some stacks on, go back, get tier 2 breastplate because tanking is OP. Buy that and this. And what's he going? Dominance? Are you going dominance? Second item? There's no way your second item transcendence things. There's no way. I don't. I refuse to believe you would do something like that. Hello. I simply will walk at you. Actually, you did a lot more damage than I thought you would. Oh, come on. That didn't hit me. I'm just gonna horn shard because cooldowns suck. Right. He's focusing so much energy on me, but I feel like he's not focusing enough on the buff or the wave. Yeah, that was a really good stun, actually. That was his horn shard and everything. He's not able to get anything off that, so that ends up actually being a good trade for me. Yeah, I took a lot of damage there, but... I don't know. Not focusing the wave is bad, just because... Um... <clears throat> just because you lose pressure like even if you're poking someone out really hard like he was to me you're still gonna overall lose pressure because you have to clear the minion wave it, there's not like uh it's not optional doing something optional like hitting the other player and then <laughs> leaving something that's mandatory is obviously gonna make you have to double back and get the wave at some point so, I'm still good for me right now. He's just going to hold his three forever, I think. Wait, she did it. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Uh, Let's go serrated. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be able to land a jump on him. Because he's just going to hold his three and stay max range forever. Which means I'm going to have to do some weird shit. I'm probably going to have to go blink. Okay. Okay. Alt for alt. I'll take it. Oh, I missed. Oh, am I dead here? I am dead here. Okay. All right. Turns out dominance makes him do a lot more damage than I thought. Oh, well. I feel like my cooldowns are horrible. Like, I have 30%, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I have maybe 5% cooldown. Group up, please. Thank you. All right. He's going to have some defense now. I wish I had my serrated already, man.
Going Berserkers or maybe a Phalanx. I'm so fucking bad at games, dude, honestly. Oh well. Oh well. Just back out and get our serrated. Get some lifesteal going. Not all right. I'll take it. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Oh, berserkers. Okay. Yeah, that's annoying. The range on those autos, dude. Jesus. Now you're gonna all. Like it doesn't bother me because it doesn't. You're gonna have to run away from me. Ugh. I'm trying to like predict his jump, but he's just not jumping or dashing, I guess. Honestly, I got everything he had there, so I'm cool with that. I had absolutely everything from him there. I do want some pen. I want a little bit of pen if I can. I mean, I have 20%, I guess. That's not bad, right? Nice. And that should be a tower, actually. Because I have minions in here, too. Um, I don't know if it will be anything more than a tower, though, unfortunately. Pretty sure tower is my limit here. Yeah, tower is definitely the limit here. Who's back? Dude, stop, man. Fucking ghosts. Now we get Crusher. He's going Toxic Blade. That's an interesting play. He's running the red buff, by the way. I don't really care about red. He can have it. It would be nice to have, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't think it's going to make or break a fight. At least if I play it correctly, it shouldn't. That was a weird play, giving me his blue. But I'll take it. My Crusher's really not doing much. 57 damage with 4 ticks. I mean, I don't know. It just did 64 to blue buff. That's pretty good. I just have to make sure I use my... Like, uh, my Crusher is being used with my 2. Ouch. There we go. There we go. I get a little bit late game and all of a sudden it feels it feels like this character is good. I guess the whole point of this character being good is the fact that you get so much power from your two. And when you're low level, you don't get that power from your two. So it doesn't feel like he's that useful. Until eventually. You hit the level. 
Hello. Oh man. I almost got him. Did I walk in a fountain? I did. <laughs> I did walk in a fountain. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, he's going XE. I don't really know what I want. What if I just go more defense? What if I just go mid guard? My damage right now is pretty decent. Protections, 5 plus 2 per level. 25 protections? No, 45 protections, because it's two, 2 per level. Not bad, dude. Alright, let's see if we can get this red buff without him interfering. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Not bad. Oh, man. Okay. All right, there's his ult. That is extremely good for me. Oh, we got beads. Not bad. All right. We got a lot of Phoenix damage there, or I'm sorry, Titan damage. No life steal up was serrated, and my two. And then I'll go do Bull Demon. Because he should not be able to stop me. I'm hoping. Please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, there's there was nothing you could do. Honestly, my AD power just started slapping. Like, once I got to a point <clears throat> where I could sustain with Serrated, and I was getting my power from... Uh... Anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm... <clears throat> Once I got serrated and I could actually like sustain, it turned out to be pretty easy. It ended up just being a fact of like, I can't do anything until I can heal because he just pokes me so hard because long range autos with Griffin wing is just, I mean, you're just going to poke out anyone you fight, right? So I just had to learn how to sustain first, which was, I mean get serrated and then you win the game anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace